Hey y'all, welcome back to MK3 Firearms. Today we're checking out a very special rifle. This is a for real Boril. Goes to one of our uh, favorite people, the Gnome, as many of you in the AK community will know him. We know him as Glenn. <laughs> but this is his Boril. He put her in our hands and uh, wanted to do a Polish, this Polish cam, which is uh, pretty unique. It actually has you know, these squiggly little shapes, but then there's always a hard line through them, which basically is a line of demarcation for the next color. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and flip her around real quick. There's the other side. Random Poland, 5.56. Five, Guys, if you're gonna go with a uh, 5.56 variant in AK, go with a country who uses, uses it as their military rifle. I mean, that just makes sense, right? Galil's, something from China maybe, or one of these guys. They're getting harder and harder to find, uh, the Brills. I've been looking for one myself and they're pretty rare now. What's really cool and unique about them is they have this top rail. They also have a very unique, um, I guess you call it a handguard uh, retaining system up here, which is pretty cool. It's almost got like a free floating gas tube. Definitely cool stuff. Three colors, um, two custom color blends for the light sand and the uh, earth color. And then that's Magpul uh, foliage green for the contrasting. And she just turned out beautiful, I think. One of the most striking AK camo jobs we've done yet. And of course the EOTech up here to match. Let's flip her around one more time for you. The foliage green, the way it plays with these lighter earth tones like sand and the lighter earth, almost like a coyote that one is, just really looks well, or turns out well, excuse me. Anyways, y'all, questions, comments, concerns, leave them, and you know we'll answer accordingly. Until next time.